Folks, welcome to our show this week. We're going to do a little something different this week on our show. We're going to be catching some fish, but there's a good reason why we're going to do it. And we're down in Georgetown, South Carolina at the Carroll Campbell Marine Complex right here just across the bridge on 17 in Georgetown. And I've got two special guests. These guys are marine biologists with the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources at the Marine Center in Charleston. And on my far right over there is Joey Ballinger. And in this guy in the middle here, okay, both these guys are great guys. And I tell you what, uh, Brian Frazier uh, and both of them just absolutely are unsung heroes. For all of you folks out there uh, who love to saltwater fish, these guys do so much for your natural resources here off the coast. All right, guys, I got to tell you, Joey, thank you all right. very much. Okay, and Brian, yes, sir. It's it's a it's an honor and privilege to have you guys both here. But uh, Joey, let me ask you first, okay? Um, uh, surveys, okay, not a lot of folks do this on TV, okay, yeah, we're going to catch some fish, but there's a reason behind it. Tell us why. So, yeah, we are, uh, one of the main things we're interested in is trying to get an idea of, a lot of people like to go out there and catch a lot of fish, right? Um, we like all like to catch big bull red drums, but we know that we can't necessarily legally harvest those, so we want to see what proportion or what, how many of those might actually die from those uh, being caught after time, so we're doing a post-release mortality study to look at uh, what, what's going on with those fish and what their fate is. So. Okay, well, Brian, Brian, okay, you tell us how we're going to do this, okay? Because, uh, right. right, man, you, you, you're the guy that, that winds the watch on all this kind of stuff, yes, too. Okay? Yes, indeed. So we have a, a couple different tag types that we can use to assess this. Uh, and really, it's, it's relatively new technology, but uh, something called a pop-off satellite tag. And what that does is it, it, we, we attach it to the fish, and it will stay on there for about 28 days. And it's going to record how deep it goes, um, the water temperature, and the light intensity. And through that, we can infer whether that fish survived or not. So if, if we release that fish and it goes down to the bottom, and it goes to a depth, and it just sits there at that depth, after three days, that tag is going to say, well, that fish is dead, and it's going to pop off. But if that tag senses that that fish is down there swimming, he's moving up and down in the water column, then we're going to know that fish survived. It's going to stay on there for 28 days, and then it's going to pop up, and it's going to transmit that data to a satellite. And from our computer, we can download those data and then say whether that fish lived or died. Well, I tell you what, technology <laughs> sometimes hurts my head. But uh, are we going to do some blood samples too? Yeah, we're going to take some blood samples, and we and we can get um, relative stress of the fish uh, through lactate and, and pH. Uh, so we. We can um, use that to kind of build a model for, for all the fish that are captured and say, okay, if you fight them for this long, they're going to get this, you know, build up this much stress and they're going to be more likely to die. Or we can say, well, you know, fight time may not matter. You know, something like using a circle hook may be more important. So we can kind of take all this, build a model, and that, that way we can make recommendations uh, for, for anglers on how to maximize the survival of the red drum that they catch. Well, Bo, Joey, huh? boom. Man, I'm telling you guys, I am looking so forward to this. Joey, if you would do the honors, I'm going to put you in the seat of All this right. brand new high country che uh, Chevrolet um, HD 2500 back here, okay, in front of the Ranger uh, boat. And let's go fish it. How All about right, that? Sounds All good. Right. Let's go let's catch some it. fish. Let's do it. All right. We shot this hard. Look at that. Wow. Let me hold that thing. Nice. Brian, okay, you're 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 the fishing guide today, okay? Me and Joey are just along for the ride. Right. Tell, tell me tell me how we're fishing today. We're going to catch these rigs. All right, so uh, we're using um, what we really recommend for big redfish is a larger circle hook, uh, at least eight aught. Right. Um, and, and a lot of times I actually use like to use something even larger, like a ten to twelve aught. Okay. Uh, depending on the manufacturer, um, inline circle hook. We you know we don't want uh, the offset because those actually can can lead to higher rates of gut hooking. Uh, a short leader, okay. typically five five inches is okay. about right, and uh, a short weight. What we want is those fish when they pick up that hook, they can't get it down deep in their gut. So we do a pretty short leader. Uh, we're just using fluorocarbon, eighty pound test, and I got then. You. Uh, and then braid and uh, the fusion hooks and Berkeley trilene, you bet, man. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. And we're uh, we're just using chunk mullet today. If we had some fresh menhaden, uh, that'd be a great bait as well. Yeah. Um, you know, it uh, it all depends on what you got. But when those big reds are eaten, um, you know, they're they're ready to go. So hopefully, now, it won't be long. Well, let's talk a little bit about the weather out here today. Water temperature is about seventy-six point five. 
I mean, air temperature, we're in the 60s, thank goodness. <laughs> yep. It's not 110. Yep. Um, yep. You know, light to no wind at all. What do you think, Tony? Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Yeah, yeah. Good to me, man. Pretty I'm day on the water, so. Yeah. It's, uh, the, they ought to be biting. If they're not, uh, blame the guide. <laughs> nah, there you go. Okay. Got to blame somebody. Fish all right, on. Bo, fish, fish on, fish brother. Day. All right, man. Yeah, you're leaving me and Joey in the dirt. <laughs> huh? Of course, that's what fishing guides do. Didn't you, didn't you say this was going to be the hot rod? Yeah, I told you it was going to be the hot rod. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Here, Joey, he's resorted to me on the other side of the boat here, baiting the hooks. What do you think, bro? I know. We're ah, turning man. into the mates over here. <laughs> Woo. Mm. Ah. Ah. He got some shoulder behind him. He's got some pull. You want me to get this one out of your way? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, there he goes. Which way? Oh, uh, change. All right. I believe he's the right kind. Uh, uh. Let's see if he's big enough for a tag. See, and that's where. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, he's got a little bit of shoulder Still not to quite him. here. Yeah. Well, folks, listen, you know, we got out here, got set up. We've got four rods in the water. And Joey Ballinger and Brian Fraser with DNR. And as soon as we get this fish up, okay, um, if he is. He's a nice he one. is the right size, we're going to oh, yeah, nice take a little sample of, uh, of blood from him, and uh, they're going to put a tag on him. Is this thing still in your way? Which way? Which side do you want to go, bro? Uh, well, we're going to let him decide, but I think he's going to come this side. Is he going to come this side? Yeah. Let me, uh, you want me to, uh, let me get this Yeah, if you can get way. that boga grip in his mouth, Joey. <laughs> now it takes a village. There you go. <laughs> ah. Bring him on in. You got there it? There we go. Oh, right. yeah. Okay, awesome. Set the rod down. All right, now, talk to me what you guys are doing. First of all, you get him out of the water. Yep, we got him out of the water. Okay. And you get some measurements. A minute and 59 seconds pike time on him. Okay. So, Somebody yeah. remember that. Joey's gonna measure him and we're gonna satellite tag him. All right. Um, 834 and 685. Um, 685 is PCL? Yeah. yeah. Standard. Standard. Looks like, a, looks like a nice, healthy fish. And Can you give me a uh, total length on? That was 834 okay, or about. 834 was total length. Yep. All right. Eight, about 33 inches. All right. How about, a, how about a weight? And then I'll draw some blood and then we'll tag him. All right. Oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> well, you know, we can get it at the end if, yeah. you, if you don't have them on there. You know, I took I, them all. I, I'm waiting. Right. This almost looks like an episode of MASH. Yeah. Uh, so I'm out of practice here. Go. <laughs> right, so I'm going to turn him yep. over just, just so I can get the right side on here. Okay. All right, we're going to knock a couple scales off just so we can get this tag in here. All right. Well, let me get this syringe right. back here. He just, he there really we go. He all is, right. He's not happy. So this yep. is a sat tag right here. Yep. So I'm going to take that off. All right, and then I'm going to turn him over one more time. If you want, you can pull out the top, Joey. And we're just going to knock off and you get it? a couple yeah. scales here and, and just take a quick sample of blood from him. Got and there. as we said, that uh, that gives us those lactate and pH measurements. Okay. So we can uh, tell how he's doing. And hopefully it's a quick sample of blood. There we go. Yeah, you got it. Okay. All awesome. right. And this little thing here, see folks, this tag right here, little sat tag. Now this thing will stay down for 28 days. 28 days, and, and then it'll pop off. Yep. Okay, yep. awesome. All right, so Joey's gonna get a, a weight on him, and then we're gonna put him back in the water. Yeah, uh, Joey. About 10 pounds. 10, 10 pounds. pounds. Okay. Coming up next, we head back to Georgetown, South Carolina, for more redfish research with the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. With the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado's now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing, or trucks with best-in-class camera technology, or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. The only truck that can compare to a Silverado is another Silverado. Or get a total value of over $9,500 on this Silverado with a larger, more functional bed than any competitor, or during truck month, make no monthly payments for 90 days. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. This reel allows you to cover more water, 
make more casts, giving you more opportunities to catch more fish. The new Revo Rocket, Abu Garcia for life. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the Old 96 District. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick Counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 District is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the Old 96 District of South Carolina. Wakawachi Marina, located on the Wakama River in Merle's Inlet, is a first-class freshwater marina. For over 60 years, locals and visitors have enjoyed Wakawachi Marina as a recreational stopover or as a launching spot on the river. Wakawachi offers affordable rates on wet slips, rack storage, fuel services, and a collection of amenities to enhance your boating experience. For a great meal with a waterfront setting, visit Deck 383, located on dock level at the marina. Wakawachi Marina, Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by the South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. Life's just better outdoors. By Berkeley, catch more fish with Berkeley fishing products. By Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. By Browning Ammunition, Browning, the best there is. And by Southern Woods Plantation, voted as one of the top quail hunting destinations in America. You got him? Yeah. All right, get him. Get him, Brian. Boom! No. Oh, wow. I don't know. Stingrayish. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's yeah, the stingray. slow pull. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Uh. Yep, don't see any head yeah, shaking. Yeah, stingray. Well, you know, then we'd be batting two for two for the DNR guys styling and profiling. <laughs> Joey, smile. There he goes. There. Get it, Joey. All right, get it, Joey. There you go. There you go. See, now that's the last one I threw out. It's the lucky one. Huh? It's the lucky one. Oh, yeah, this don't feel like a stingray. No, this is a good one. I, I know, Joey, that's 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 no, one that's man. Oh, standing on the wrong side of the boat. That's a stingray. <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, do we get time? Uh -huh. um, Let me get my pliers. Here. I got 11:45. Right, I got them all the time now. <laughs> Folks, we got them fast and furious out here. Okay, the guys are trying to do some research. It's a good fish and bad fish. Uh, yeah, well that's okay. But you know, they all pull. They're all know, fun. Now look, at, just turn around, and look at Joe. Now he's helping me look. He's styling a profile of today. <laughs> Think we do? Yeah, we got three fish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna hit the tag? <laughs> that's okay. Ah. Ah, come on, fish. Stay with me, buddy. Oh, don't get over Stay here. With me. There he is, though. That's a nice red. Yeah, okay. <laughs> if we have to, I'll put this rod in the rod holder. Yeah, dude, let the we just let the ray. The, the ray'll have to wait. Yep. There he comes. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Oh. Come oh, over no. this side. Don't go oh. to that side. Oh. Keep, keep my oh, that's a nice one, Joe. No. That's a nice fish. That's a real nice red. That is. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to put this guy in the rod holder. Do that. Here we go. I got him coming right over here. OK, you got to do your thing. I'll talk while I'm trying to get this one in. <laughs> huh? There we go. All right. Woo! Man, I'm rocking and rolling with this Toro Beast. On this bear top. There we go. Oh, yeah. Go. All right. I think I may have one right behind it. Right where he's supposed to be hooked. Yep. He's hooked right where he's supposed to be hooked. Mm. Mm -hmm. He's going to get that out and so he can sit down the road order. And... Woo. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. I got about two minutes and... Two minutes and 44 seconds. Yeah, that's okay. what I was going to say. It's 45 All seconds. Right. All right, guys. All right, so mm -hmm. I'll let you data sheet. Are uh, you on data sheet? Uh, uh, I'm well, I, Yeah, I can. All right. Uh, uh, you got the data sheet. Where is it? Eight. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 things up. <laughs> 
right. Sorry, chaos, folks. Uh, eight, eight forty-five, nine eighty-eight. 845 988. 845 988. He wants to be down here, so I'm going to let him. That's the reason I'm grunting. It's because I, I had to go around. Sorry about that. That's all. You're okay. <laughs> we usually like it when it's one fish, one at, fish at a time. One fish at a time. I'm telling you. Yep. Three fish at a time is a little excessive. That's okay. We'll take it. Make sure. All we right. will take it, guys. We got a tag, tag in him. Oh yeah. We'll get a little blood. What was the length of him? Uh, he was um, almost a meter. Nine ninety-eight. Oh so wow. Joey, you did good. So, you did good. Now, guys, I'm trying to get this. Thirty-nine one, inches, close to forty inches. I'm trying to get this one up to be nice. I'll see if I can't kind of hold on here just a little bit. Every time he gets a glimpse of the boat. Come on, fish, give me blood. It's south time. Mm. As it headed here's to the, right, the... Here's the right kind. There we go, we got some blood. All right. Now you guys can test that blood while we're here, right? Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna put it in a handheld blood, on, blood analyzer. And we're gonna have results in about three minutes. Great. I'm gonna put this in here. You keep it coagulating. All right, well, guys, I'll tell you what. This I'd fish like is we're good to go. back in the water. Mm. All right. Awesome. Awesome. There you go. Good solid kick. I'm going to give him condition. Uh, oh, you got a stingray, too. I do. We got two of them right. things on um, here. Hey, hey, that's, that's, that's what right. you got. We got one, one good fish and, and two. Uh, that's okay. Stay tuned. On the Sportsman's Table, we feature a true southern sandwich with a new twist. At sunset, boats are required to display a red and green light on the bow and a white light at the stern. Navigation lights are for others to see you and your intentions. Remember, safe boating is no accident. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. A float plan is a detailed itinerary of your day on the water. It outlines a description of your boat or PWC, where you are going and when you are expected to return. This information should be given to a responsible party in case you fail to return. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well. Here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So, choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. For great food, amazing views, and the best live entertainment, there's no better place in Merle's Inlet than Deck 383. Located on the beautiful Waccamaw River, you can sit outdoors on our spacious deck and enjoy the sunset over the river, or you can just relax and listen to your favorite music with friends. Enjoy great food that's prepared fresh daily and cooked to order. And if you enjoy karaoke or live music, Deck 383 is the place to be for locals and tourists. Get away from the crowd and join us at Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Folks, welcome to the Sportsman's Table this week. We're back here with Jermaine Alston here at Deck 383 in Merle's Inlet on beautiful Waccamaw River. I tell you what, this is a recipe that you promised all year to do, yeah. and it's waited on the menu to, here. Waited to the last one. Yeah. Okay, Jermaine, yeah. let's, this it's, one I, I know folks are going to be interested in. It's, it's, it's called our slow roll, and it's a fried bologna sandwich. Oh, man. You can never go wrong with fried bologna. Only but, in South Carolina. In there South you Carolina. go. South okay. Carolina certified. Yep. 
good to go. All Pretty right, good. let's do the first step, my All friend. All right, we're going to put a little char on the bologna here. Okay, I got you. Throw that down. Oh, yeah, we cooking already. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let that cook. Let it render down a little yep. bit. Mm-hmm. All right, Bob, this is our finishing touch today. This is what you want right here. See the nice char oh, yeah. on a piece of bologna there. That's how you know it's, you're good to go. Listen, as a kid and an adult, I still love bologna, oh, bologna I love sandwiches. It. Huh? I love it. Okay, so what's next? All right, we're going to put our caramelized onions on here. Oh, okay. Mm. Caramelized onions. Okay. There you nice go. caramelized onion. We're going to throw some chili on here, made fresh in the house. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Put chili on there. <laughs> Who would ever thought? Who would ah, ever? Ah, roll bologna. Roll bologna. Mm -hmm. No wonder they come down here to get this oh, thing man, at the marina. You, you can't go wrong. I'm telling you, Deck 383 mm -hmm. has got it going bit. on. Put cheddar cheese on top of it right oh, there. Oh, my goodness. There you Let go. the cheese melt. Okay. And we can go ahead and just plate this right on our bun over here. Got, it comes with lettuce and tomatoes, also all South Carolina certified. Okay. And then you've got a little bit of what? Looks like mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. You oh, got to wow. have some mac and cheese with bologna. That's what I'm talking yes, about, sir. man. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. We're going to mm -hmm. go ahead and plate this. There you go. Right there. Oh, my goodness. And that, that will be your slow roll. At Deck 383. There you go. Folks, that's another great recipe here. Log on to CertifiedSEGrown.com and see what's fresh on the menu. Log on and come on down to Merle's Inlet at Waka Watcha Marina down here at Deck 383 and Jermaine and all of his staff. I tell you what, they have a great menu for you. Come on down, enjoy this beautiful sight behind us, this deck, the water, you name it, right here on the Sportsman's Table. Another great recipe. We'll see you next week. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste. It's time to take fishing to a bold new place. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. These baits feature a revolutionary new material that releases a supercharged scent field. They attract more fish and trigger more strikes than even original power bait. And all remain soft and flexible out of the package, so they're ready to fish. Ten forage-inspired natural matte colors come alive in the water. Berkeley Powerbait Max Set. Fish bite and won't let go. With the all-new Silverado HD, Silverado's now the only truck brand that can offer trucks with best-in-class towing or trucks with best-in-class camera technology, or larger, more functional beds than any competitor. The only truck that can compare to a Silverado is another Silverado. Or get a total value of over $9,500 on this Silverado with a larger, more functional bed than any competitor, or during truck month, make no monthly payments for 90 days. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Browning Pro Steel Safes offer industry-leading storage solutions with fully adjustable shelving, high capacity barrel racks, and patented door storage. Your adventure begins and ends with Browning Pro Steel Safes. Ranger has led the way in innovative, high-performance designs, and we're raising the bar again with a bold new flagship line, the Ranger Z Comanche L Series. These rigs are custom-crafted with a passion for perfection and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver domination at every level. The next generation Ranger L Series. Celebrate a legacy, 50 years in the making. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by Chevrolet, the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By Browning, Browning, the best there is. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing. And by the Wakawachi Marina and Deck 383, located on the Waccamaw River in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. 
Well, folks, listen, I want the guys to give you the results of the blood test for the big redfish that Joey caught, and then we want to talk about the salinity of the conditions out here where these fish are living. And both these guys have got the results, so I think it's worthy of taking time. Let, let's tell all the folks, because, you know, th this research is so valuable to the fishery out here. Everybody that fishes and loves it, okay, they need to know why we do this and why you guys are doing it, and it's for the health of the fish that we love to catch. Yep. Yep. That's exactly. what we're out here for. That's the mission of DNR. Uh, exactly. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So, so based on the the blood, it, it, it appears that fish wasn't really that stressed out. His his uh, lactate level was really low, uh, and the pH wasn't high. So, um, you know, and the fish swam away great. You know, I'd say that fish is probably going to survive. Right. Um, you know. Sometimes, though, when they're struggling after recovering, a shark will come along and hit them, and we can find out through that tag as well. But, um, you know, that, that fish isn't likely dying as a result of being captured. So, you know, the fight time was, was pretty quick, and we handled them quick and got them back in the water quick. So, you know, that fish is probably going to make it. All right, and on the water side of things, so what we're looking at is trying to figure out how salty the water is. So right now it's about 36.2 parts per thousand, which is about full strength seawater. That's about as high as it ever gets. Um, well, let me ask you now, with the with the lack of rain that we've had here in the southeast and the fresh water coming in here, which, you know, gosh, it seems like fresh water, it flows into Georgetown in this area. Does that make a difference? Okay. That does make a difference. So right now, even up at the head of the Winyard Bay, it's pretty uh, salty, much f further inland than what we would expect. Now, would that make it here. better fishing or, or worse? Is it hard to say? Um, it, it's, it's, hard. it's hard to say. A lot of times when there's a lot of fresh water coming down the river, like yeah. a month ago, we're sitting out here in the in the uh, jetties at Winyard Bay, and a month ago, it was zero parts per thousand. So fresh water on the surface. Right here. And it was still salty on the bottom, so there's a big wedge. But that'll concentrate the fish, and it'll actually make it better fishing because the fish aren't moving as far up. They have less territory up the bay to go. I got you. So that concentrates them down here. So, that, you know, that if you do have a lot of fresh water running out, that can certainly improve the fishing by concentrating them in an area. Well, you know... Joey, I am so glad that Brian took us fishing today. Okay? <laughs> I was say, he was a guide for us uh, today, no, wasn't he? Man, Brian, he did a great man. job. <laughs> did, jo jo <laughs> well, I tell you, Brian Frazier, Joey Ballinger, I just tell you, it's just been a, a great trip today, and it, it's just been so wonderful having you guys out on yeah. the boat, and I can't thank you enough for what you've done. Oh, and, another fish on, another fish, fish on. on. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, is, he, my okay. <laughs> is he still on there? I think so. Oh, yeah. Fish yeah, man. Okay. That's, that's the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, I, I've got to say thank you so much to, to Joey Ballinger and, and Brian. No, no yeah. We lost him. Oh, we lost it came him. off. <laughs> but we'll, have, we'll catch more fish next time. But, but folks, listen. Check out DNR's website. Go down to the Marine Center and see what great things they do. I tell you, they're unsung heroes for everybody that fishes in the saltwater. These two guys here and all of the great staff down there in Charleston, they make it possible for your natural resources right here off this beautiful coast of South Carolina. Joey, thank you, man. Thanks for having us on. I it was really a pleasure. It, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Thank yep. you, guys. As I like to say each and every week, the outdoors is my passion. I want it to be yours, too. We'll see you next time.